Scorpio, I hope you are doing well. I am coming to you with a message for you, Scorpio. Wait, let's just check out this lighting, see if we can do something here. Is that better? Maybe that's better. Some of, my, some of my videos come out dark, some of them come out too light, so I'm like, yeah, that's the best. We'll leave it like this. Scorpio, I hope you are doing well. I am coming to you with a general message for you. We are going to see what spirit wants you to know at this time, what you need to be aware of, what could be coming towards you, okay? Scorpio, I hope you are feeling blessed, loved, highly favoured and protected and you and your loved ones are all well and good. Check in on your loved ones, okay? The people who mean the most. Do not take anybody for granted who you care about, obviously, because life is a very life in this lifetime. We are only here for a select amount of time. Okay, so make the most of it. Be grateful. Let's see, Scorpio. We're going to draw for some tarot, strictly tarot confirmation if we need it. And then some finishing messages. Let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. Oh, Seven of Wands popped right out. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to fight for you, Scorpio. Mm. Fighting spirit, I'm hearing. Messages for Scorpio, please. Six of Pentacles. This could be a person that's going to be gifting you something. Empress and the Three of Pentacles interesting this person definitely sees you as somebody this could be a person at your workplace or they could have been you could have worked with this person in the past or there was something that you worked on together some sort of collaborative project something of that such here this person could want to gift you something here scorpio six of wands hanged man or the hand one seven of swords Okay, I don't know why that's there. We'll check it out. Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Cups. Could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Taurus, or Aries. Somebody can't let go of you, Scorpio. Somebody's holding on to feelings that they have for you. This could have been a person who closed off to you in the past. This person could have been very closed off to their emotions with the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords there. And the King of Cups. This person actually has a lot of feelings for you here. Ace of Swords. This person could be having some sort of breakthrough. This could have been a person that you struggled to get on the same page with. There could have been a lot of um, messing around going on. Tip for tap. But I feel like this could have been coming from an insecure place. Okay. Because this person actually has a soft spot for you with the Knight of Cups here. With the Lover's card. They feel highly, highly attracted to you. Very connected. Tower card five of pentacles if you left this person out in the cold scorpio because tower is scorpio energy five of pentacles if you've left somebody out in the cold they're feeling the loss of you they're actually feeling pretty lost empty at this time and it's due to the fact that they could have held back from you but now they're having some sort of breakthrough about the feelings that they're having i'm getting a rush of emotion scorpio some of you could be dealing with an aries or a taurus some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, okay? We're going to check out this Seven of Swords because it's thrown me a little bit. I feel like somebody wants to fight for you, Scorpio. And this person could be wanting to be really generous with you, okay? If this person was stingy in the past, didn't want to give anything, you know, you could have felt like you was the one that was giving time, energy, resources, whatever that was, okay? You could have felt like you was giving in an unrequited situation. You could have felt like... You know, you had to hold up your end of the bargain, but somebody else wasn't coming to the party. Do you get what I mean? You know, almost like a one man party type of energy. But you're definitely sitting in a really high energy at this time, Scorpio. We've got the Empress. Some of you, this is somebody who you have children with or you have children, but it doesn't have to be. OK, I feel like you're just in a real abundant energy. OK, a lot of you could be collaborating with people at this time. This person could be watching you working with others. OK, I'm getting that as well strong. 
strongly. Some of you, you could be doing things with friends, working on a specific project specifically, you know, with another group of people. And I feel like this person wants to come in with some sort of fighting spirit now to kind of get in on what's going on with you, Scorpio, okay? This person could want to be generous with you. I'm just getting an energy of them opening their hands to you like what can i give you scorpio like what can i give you that man down there what can i give you scorpio and you're in control scorpio because you are sitting in a very um high energy this person regards you very highly but for some reason this person was closed off to their emotions you could have found like it was hard to break through some sort of barrier almost like you couldn't you could only get to a certain level of a person because they weren't being very forthcoming with their emotions and i feel like you know scorpionic energy people give scorpios a bad rap sometimes because some scorpios can come across very aloof very cold okay but when a scorpio decides i'll tell you something when a scorpio decides to open up to you when a scorpio makes a conscious decision to share with you or to for you to enter into their circle do not take that for granted because scorpios don't do that lightly that is not a whim it takes a lot for a scorpio to trust okay it takes a lot for a scorpio to agree to have you in their energy okay and have you under this umbrella of loyalty have you under this umbrella of protection scorpionic protection the scorpionic energy is very very strong and powerful okay so if you've known a scorpio no doubt it's either your they're loyal to you and you know where you stand scorpios are extremely loyal people but when you cross a scorpio okay that's not a nice feeling either okay that, that that's not a nice feeling full stop okay so you don't really want to be on the wrong side of a scorpio but when a scorpio regards you really highly they will be like you will feel protected you will feel the loyalty you will feel the love you will feel the regard you know scorpios are very very warm individuals when you're allowed into their circle but they're also very restrictive sometimes and protective over their circle and who they share what with okay so just bear that in mind and i feel like this person is definitely watching you possibly in a circle or working on something in another group that doesn't involve them okay with the six of wands and the hanged man this person could be changing their perspective about you here scorpio okay and i feel like it could be due to you getting some sort of recognition some of you could be you know being seen in some sort of spotlight some of you could have achieved something even some of you could have leveled up in some way some of you could have been learning a new skill even and this is at the forefront somehow this person is seeing you make some sort of changes you know advance in your life progress okay i'm getting a strong sense of progress and with the seven of swords i want to know why that's here is this person being strategic as to how to come in to kind of get into your energy or are they moving sneaky we're going to clarify that seven of swords okay because that's throwing me ten of cups this is fulfillment and i feel like this is what this person is really seeking but this person did have an opportunity to get it right before and for whatever reason they closed off to you scorpio again you could have had this umbrella of loyalty for this person and due to them not kind of being open to receive that loyalty open to receive that love okay it could be that you know you went over to work with other people you could be focused on other things and it's just like oh hey hang on a minute i can't feel the umbrella i can't feel the scorpio loyalty anymore i can't feel the scorpionic energy anymore what is going on and just that shift in the energy is powerful okay so this person i feel like they have that's what's going on that's what i'm seeing okay let's see now let's clarify Ten of Wands and the Hierophant, you definitely let something go in order to elevate. I'm getting a strong energy of you definitely upgrading, okay? For some of you, it could be just upgrading self, you know, working on yourself, looking good, smelling good, okay? Taking more care with yourself here. Something, something about water. Some of you could be spending a lot of time near water or you need to. Okay, let's see. Clarify the Seven of Swords, because this is what's throwing me here. What is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, okay. The Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords. 
the three of pentacles they want to be back in your circle scorpio king of cups king and queen of cups is here as i split bottom of the deck we've got the knight of cups in the reverse be careful of this person not bombarding you love bombing you okay out of fear of you not choosing to do this with them okay seven of swords clarifies clarifiers we've got the seven of the six of swords and the queen of cups and the three of pentacles what did i say about collaborating and being in the circle this person wants back into the circle okay this person feels safe in your energy this person knows that you are very nurturing this person knows that you are very compassionate and patient okay scorpionic love okay water sign love when a water sign withdraws or you're no longer under the umbrella of the loyalty that scorpios give or the water sign gives specifically you feel that you know that's not something that's that you can take lightly and i feel like you need to be very careful because this person could be coming in very passionate could be a fire sign but it doesn't have to be a water or a water sign this person could be coming in very passionate but be careful of love bombing you know going really thick with the you know i love you you know let's do this and let's do that all of a sudden just because they're feeling the shift in the energy eight of cups is here you definitely walked away somebody did okay this could be signifying how this person walked away here and they want back in they want back in empress and the three of pentacles what are you working on here scorpio what are you working on king of swords some of you could definitely be um having a breakthrough the tower card knight of pentacles you're working towards something here for a lot of you it, it's something to do with your logic a lot of you you could be the the kind of um the driving force behind some sort of project here or some sort of leader of a group or you know you could be um somebody who's regarded highly in a group you know somebody who knows the answers somebody who's wise okay somebody who's loyal what am i telling you about loyalty knight of pentacles is loyal okay this is a very loyal energy it's a very slow and steady energy but it's also a very much a loyal energy page of wands is here communication what is this tower energy three of cups there's a lot of energy supporting you kind of working with other people okay you know if you possibly felt as though you had to distance yourself from this energy that's, that's showing up here when you're reading scorpio i definitely feel like you made another avenue for yourself and it's making you very happy whatever this is it is making you very happy and i kind of question like is there room for this person to even come into this circle now you, you know i don't know everybody will have free will what is this seven of wands they want to fight to give you something six of pentacles seven of wands they want back in but they walked away they walked away this person could have been using work as a distraction mm. they want to fight to give you something after walking away this person could have um emotionally withdrawn from you in a very big way three of wands is in the reverse this person it's almost like they they impulsively walked away because the three of wands in the reverse with that eight of cups three of wands in the reverse talks about being impatient it talks about something not coming in it talks about somebody not waiting for something and it could be that this person didn't put up a fight this person just kind of disappeared scorpio you could have had somebody who ghosted even the star but they kind of walked away from their wish fulfillment could be an aquarius this is it's crazy two of cups they disconnected from you two of cups is in the reverse but now they want to apologize for doing this okay because they're finding that now it's like they're feeling the loss of you king of wands it could be a fire sign Hierophant, now they want commitment. Now they're sure, now they're confident about having elevation with you. You know, I don't know, some of you may choose to go back into this. We'll see what the outcome may be. Five of Wands. You could have fought with this person. There could have been a lot of conflict around, you know, what's happening here. 
it could have been a very confusing situation dealing with somebody like that but now they're kind of thinking they're, they're mourning loss of you Scorpio I'm seeing that because your attention is elsewhere and now their feelings are coming to the surface with the moon card could be a cancer or a Pisces they're mourning the loss of you because your attention is elsewhere you're working on new now this could have been a person you wanted to bring with you on the journey and now you're working on new and it's like the emperor you're bossing up scorpio empress emperor for some of you you're in a new connection or there's a new connection coming in and you're going to be working on something that's going to be um more beneficial for you nine of cups is here something that you're going to be very content with we've got the six of cups and the four of pentacles in the reverse now what you're telling me scorpio is that you're letting go of the past you're letting go of the past and you're going into this new boss mode energy okay for some of you you are a boss for some of you you could be in a boss you know what i said about you're the driving force of something here and you're sitting in that emperor empress energy you're definitely embodying that energy and for a lot of you you could be attracting somebody who is going to be your equal here because you're sitting in a high regard you're definitely focused on what you're working on your projects yourself okay and this is absolutely the energy that you need to be in you can't dwell on trying to prize open somebody who isn't open to you okay what is this change of perspective here that this person's having that they're out in the cold that they lost they missed out and they're feeling the pain i cannot make it up the ten of swords it's like they they caused their own their own disappointment here that's what they're, they're realizing they're left out in the cold i don't i don't know because yeah now they want to give because they feel left out in the cold. Six of Pentacles is here twice. That Ten of Swords is still there. Now they want to choose this. Page of Swords. Now they're reevaluating their options. Okay, their avenue now. Now they're wanting to spark up some sort of conversation on new. Now they want to bring forth some sort of change here, come back around because you're looking really good, Scorpio. You're in a very self-sufficient energy. You've, you're very clear on what you want. And I feel like this person is seeing that about you. Seven of Cups is in the reverse. You're making a definitive choice to go towards something that is going to be fulfilling. For a lot of you, you've put up a guard against this person because this person was depleting your energy. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Ten of Swords. This is not a nice energy and I feel like you had to set some sort of boundary here. And now this person wants to come in, manifest some sort of communication, some sort of stability here. Ace of Wands is here as well and come out of withdrawal because the Four of Swords is in the, up, in the reverse there. If this person withdrew, now they want to manifest communication. Now they want to manifest passion. Now they want to manifest stability here because they see it now. This is a person who you dropped importance with because your investment wasn't growing here. It was just a hard slog. And there's the love bombing energy. So be careful this person isn't coming in to get a second chance and willing to say anything and do anything, especially with that seven of swords that came out already, in order to get back in your energy. They're worried very clear message okay five of cups knight of cups that knight of cups the love bombing energy they're disappointed so they're willing to come in and sweet talk you this is mr smooth they're going to be switching on the smooth talk okay not to say this person doesn't feel some sort of loss because they definitely do but i would be very careful that this person is not just telling you what they want to to tell you telling you what they think you want to hear and that is absolutely not what they need to be doing okay five of cups in disappointment because they held back in disappointment because this person could have been in their ego scorpio messages for scorpio please let's see what's this We've got the four of swords and the judgment card i feel like for you scorpio you're you're kind of letting it lie I feel like you've made peace with this. You're letting it lie. You're just letting the chips fall where they are, you know, where they've been. You're, you're, making, you're making peace. And I feel like you're definitely creating something new for yourself. Whether that is a new relationship, because I do see that on the table. Or it's just creating something new for you. Okay, the tower. 
of the seven of swords and the empress this is them being strategic wanting to unexpectedly pop up to be strategic to come into your world scorpio empress is here twice whatever it is that you're growing whatever you know i'm getting a real midas touch energy whatever you're touching turns to gold whatever you put your hands in whatever you put your mind your logic in scorpio it it, it just creates magic here okay this is scorpionic energy but i just get you creating something that was unexpected from this person and i feel like this person is, is amplifying something here for them three of cups in the reverse they're not happy with whatever this is that's happening in your energy three of wands in the reverse they impulsively walked away because they didn't see hope in the situation but now they see you collaborating that three of pentacles is there again collaborating driving force same card same energy crone of swords king of swords energy and it's like you're moving fast and passionate towards some sort of stability here, which again, same energy. We are putting this person, because you are doing this, okay, this person is sitting in anxiety, okay, same cards, same cards, okay, same energy, you can't make it up. Page of Pentacles, now they're obsessing over this offer that they want to come in with obsessing over having a new opportunity obsessing over this but you're blocked off you're closed off because there was a time when this person closed off emotionally from you scorpio so you went and created another avenue for yourself scorpio that is what i have for you expect communication with this person this person's trying to find some sort of little loophole to get in this person you know when like how can i put it do you know when there's like an inflate i'm just thinking of like the first thing that comes into my head there's an inflatable beach ball or something like that and they're trying to find a hole in the beach ball and even if they have to get a small little needle to just prick a little needle with that knight of cups energy to kind of get back into that umbrella of loyalty that umbrella of scorpio love that umbrella of scorpio compassion scorpionic care it, it, there's nothing that compares nothing compares you know and i'm a scorpio son so they call me biased but with all of the water signs you will find if you've ever had any involvement with the water signs okay when they're loyal to you when they care that that type of care and energy is felt in a different type of way because water signs are naturally very emotive people they drive with their emotions a lot of the time okay and when you mishandle that type of energy, you feel that shift. You definitely feel that shift. And I see that here in a big way. And this person's like, hang on a minute, the umbrella's gone. And they're realising that nothing else is going to compare. Now they're sitting in this energy of, this is what I manifested for myself. While you're just diverting your focus you know and i feel like rightly so because this person was closed off so you've gone in another direction scorpio that is what i have for you if you like how i read please like share and subscribe to the channel but until next time scorpio i will see you soon sending you love and light mm, take care bye